And a former beauty queen is behind bars for allegedly plotting to kill her husband, a former college football player, according to police in the Bahamas. News Nation's Elizabeth Pran joins us live from Atlanta with what we know so far. Elizabeth? Hi, Kelly. Yes. Yeah, so she wasn't alone, but police say that 36 year old Lindsay Shiver was actually the mastermind behind this alleged plot to kill her college sweetheart, 38 year old Richard Shiver. She was working with two Bohemian men, one of which she was allegedly romantically involved with. If you're wondering why there's a connection with the Bahamas, is the couple actually shared a home in the Bahamas, and Richard filed for divorce after learning of the alleged affair. Police say that is when the plot was orchestrated. But the evidence was uncovered during an investigation for a completely separate crime. It was a break-in at a popular bar, um, not on Nassau. It's called Grabber Bar and Grill. Um, police say that they stumbled across WhatsApp's messages at a phone they uncovered at the scene. They didn't uh, disclose whose phone it is at this time. We did speak with one legal analyst who said hiring a hitman or plotting to kill your partner is actually one of the easier cases to uncover because there is usually a prevalence of a paper trail. They believe, hey, I'm not going to get my hands dirty, but if I hire someone to do it, I, no one will suspect me. And what's so interesting about these cases, the, one, the ones, the murder for hire plots, leave the biggest trail of evidence. So the estranged couple, as you uh, mentioned, met in college, Auburn University. He played football. She was a former beauty pageant queen. They have three sons together. They currently live in, in Georgia. Robert is the executive vice president of a life insurance company. And as, as far as her, her public persona, she really comes across as a doting wife and mother. Uh, she posted on her social media page in March of 2020. One of her captions in part said, the key to a perfect marriage is having two imperfect people who refused to give up on one another. She had her first appearance on Friday as well as the other two defendants. Uh, the next time we will see them is when they're due in court in October. They did not have to enter a plea at that time. So we don't know. Kelly, we'll see. All right. We know you'll stay on it. Elizabeth Pran, thank you as always. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.